Hi again, here we are to continue with our weather um, app. And uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to talk about getting the image to display. So, you know, you can do this a lot of ways, okay? Uh, you know, you're gonna have to get creative on how you approach it. Um, in my example here, um, my app has a an image in the background here. It's just a simple graphic, right? And in Storyboard, what I did, and you could put the image anywhere and resize it anywhere, right? So this is just what I did. Um, so looking in Storyboard, I'm going to go to the Outline v Editor here, the Outline View. And you can see that this is my image right here. This is the UI image view right there. And you can see I, I set it to fill the whole screen. I actually gave it a little bit of margin because I didn't want the edge of the image to go right up to the edge. Okay. And then what I did is I put an image in here. So if I, you know, if I select this and then I go to the, the property inspector, you can see I picked one of the images here that's in my, um, my project, right? Okay. And so I have a bunch of different um, images there. Okay. Um, and I just imported these by dragging them into the, um, the editor here. So, you know, if you have images, you can, um, you can just drag the files directly in here and then it'll come up with a, an, uh, you know, a, um, a dialog box here that says copy items if needed. So you'll want to check that and you'll want to make sure that it says add to targets and it names your app. Okay. I actually have all the images in my folder, so I'm going to cancel there, but you'll import all your images. Okay. And um, so the next thing to note is that all of my images have this naming convention, right? So the first one is O1D.png, and then there's an O1N.png, O2D.png, O2NPNG, O3DPNG, okay? Um, why did I name them this way? Well, if we go to the Open Weather Map site and we go to their API, and we look at the, um, the current weather data API, here it is, right? And then I scroll down to the, um, the JSON example here. You'll see that under weather, it shows ID, main, clouds, description, um, and then it says icon, right? So it says icon, and then you can see it says O4N. That kind of looks like the names that I was using, right? Like, why is that, right? So so under weather, we've got weather, main, um, ID, main, description, and icon. So we need to get this property. And if we look a little closer here, um, somewhere down here, where is it? I think I passed it. Um, there's a section that explains these properties. Um, maybe it, actually, maybe it's up higher here. Um, where is that thing? It's it's in here somewhere. Um, I know it's in here. Let me find it here. There's a link, and then the page shows all of the stuff in detail. Um, parameters. Yeah, here it is. List of weather condition codes. Okay. So I'll click on that. And then um, when I get into this page, there's a list of icons, right? And it shows me, um, it shows me their icon and the name of the file. So it's always going to return this name, but we can use any file that we want in our app for, for that, you know, for this, um, this particular condition, right? Okay. And if you look, there's sort of a convention. It's, it's got a number and then followed with a letter. And the letter is either D for day or N for night. Okay? So you got your day, clear, night, clear, right? Uh, day, cloudy, or partially cloudy, 
night partially cloudy or few clouds, okay? So anyway, so so there's there's the the icons that they used and these are the naming conventions. So you should make images with each one of these names, okay? And then what you'll want to do is you'll want to go into the weather um, the weather property here and we'll want to add or the weather struct weather.swift and we'll want to add another property so I'm gonna add another property here called icon and make it a string okay now I'm gonna get an error because we need to set this right um, we haven't set it yet and then down here on init uh, let's set that icon value so what I'll do is I'll I'll type a comma there and say icon colon is a string okay and then inside the init we'll say self dot icon equals icon so now when you call on you know when you create a weather struct right you new new weather object and we call on the init function we'll include an extra property for icon okay um, so now we're going to get an error somewhere else because we added this new property and, um, you know, our other area here in weather service that makes this thing doesn't include that property, right? So let's go to weather service now. And um, right here where we make this weather object, you know, it's missing the icon property, right? So it's got an error message. So we need to get the icon property here, right, and then include it on the end okay so let's say uh, let icon equal JSON bracket and then we got to figure this out again let's make sure that we get this right so so let's go back to our API here okay and figure out like where I'm gonna go back actually to um, to the current weather data and scroll down to the JSON. So the JSON example here. And then you can see what I want is I want weather icon. So it's going to be weather and then icon. Okay. So it's the same place that we get the description from. Okay. So here when I get weather description right I started with weather and then if you remember this was the one that had the array so we gotta have zero and then here we'll type in icon and then icon is going to be a string so we'll do dot string on the end okay so we got icon JSON weather item zero icon string and then now this method needs to have icon here and then uh, and then we're gonna type in icon again okay right oh yeah and then you, this is an optional here so we got to have the the exclamation point so we got city name temp description icon exclamation point and there we go right so now you know we got one more step right whenever we we you know send this weather object back to our delegate our delegate needs to make use of it so if I go to the view here and I look up the set weather method you know here if I typed weather dot icon I could get the icon now okay so what I want to do is I want to I want to add a new image or display an image in the the um, the image field so let's find where that is right do I have an outlet for it um, you know it looks like I don't have an outlet for the for the image Let, let's make one so uh, you know cuz I can't see it here right these are all UI label UI label UI button UI label UI label right so let's open up our storyboard in the assistant editor so I'll option click on storyboard and what I want to do is is drag from here. You, if you can click on the on the on the UI image here and drag in here, that's okay too. I'm actually going to click from the outline editor, and you can open and close that with this little button here. So I'll 
uh, hold the control key, drag from the UI image into my um, view controller dot Swift. And then I'll type, how about weather um, icon? That'll remind us. So let's, let's actually say, um, let's do this. Let's do icon image. Maybe that'll be a better name. And I'll click connect. And now we have, you know, a new outlet. Okay, that's a UI image. Let's close the assistant editor here and you can see this guy's UI image, right? Okay. So that's not too bad. Now let's go back to set weather. And what we'll do is we'll type in icon image dot image equals. And what we need to do is we need to make a UI image. Okay, that's a special image object, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type the parentheses, and there's a bunch of different ways to create a UI image, okay? So what I want to do is I want to make um, an image with, um, with a name, okay? And this means that you have a file in your project that has this name, okay? So I'm going to say UI image named, right? And I'll hit return, and then it wants a string here, so we can type in weather.icon, and that will give us the icon string for our UI image. Okay? And there we go. So let's give it a try. So we'll test our project here. And we'll wait for it to build. And then we'll set the uh, the weather for um, Paris, and we'll click OK. Oh, so Paris is scattered clouds. What about uh, San Francisco? Oh, sunny, right? Um, what about... Uh, I don't know, what's another city here? It's New York. Let's do New York again, right? Oh, so it's cloudy, right? Okay, so anyway, so there you got your image, okay? And you could use anything for the image here. Um, you know, I just use these icons, but it could be anything, and it could be a small picture, it could be a large picture, right? The key thing is that the naming here matches the names from Open Weather Map, okay? So, um, so you can look at that list of images there and then match them up, and you'll need to have an image for each. If you're missing an image, you'll get an error, um, potentially, because they're, you know, it, it won't find the image, right? Okay. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that's useful and uh, good luck with your projects.